Marta. I work at the Amigos International Office. Hi, my name is Maddie, and I work at IO as well. Today we're going to share with you a few safety and travel tips for your trip to Latin America. First of all, on travel day, make sure that you're carrying your passport. If you're not a U.S. citizen, make sure that you also have your green card. Um, any other travel documentation, like visas and entry cards, can be found in your project information packet. If you're under 18, uh, make sure that you bring with you your parent permission to travel form. This is important when you're going through immigration in the host country. Everyone should wear their blue Amigos polo on travel day. This way you can identify other Amigos in the airport and travel together and be easily identified by our project staff when you arrive in your host country. Print out the Amigos travel memo that's sent to you. This has important phone numbers to call if there's any delays or disruptions during your travel to the host country. Also make sure you're carrying with you a copy of your itinerary and confirmation number. This way your check-in at the airport can go smoothly. <clears throat> When you land in your gateway city, look for Amigos representatives that will be wearing yellow Amigos polos. Reference your travel memo for exactly where you should meet. While we don't recommend that you use your cell phone while in community, make sure to bring a cell phone while you're traveling so you can get in touch in case of any delays. Remember that standards of conduct apply during all travel and overnight stays in gateway cities. And bring enough money to cover any baggage fees that you may incur on your way to the country and on your way home. Next, we're gonna go over a few personal and travel safety tips. First of all, don't travel or walk alone at night in your community or between communities. Avoid spending time in large urban areas outside of your host community. There are certain times in the project where this is going to be necessary, like midterm. When you are in a city that you're less familiar with, make sure that you're just aware of your surroundings and on alert at all times. If you're ever traveling with a big backpack or your luggage, make sure you can see and touch your, your things at all times. If you have any valuables, make sure they're on your person and not in your bag. Don't bring valuable or expensive jewelry with you on your Amigos experience. If you do want to wear jewelry, it's better to bring minimal or modest pieces. Remember to bring a photocopy of your passport with you at all times and to leave your passport at home in your host community house. When you're out and about with money on you, make sure that you split up the money on different places on your person. For example, at midterm, if you're buying a few souvenirs, if you have about 50 bucks, keep 40 of it in your bag and 10 of it in your pocket. This way, for smaller purchases, you don't have to bring out your whole wallet. And just never bring lots of money and never hide all of your money in one place. Safe, Safe travels! travels.